Yeah, me and Chrissy got into it because, um, I don't know if she want me to talk about this, but it's not that. What's up, 4K Gangs? Me the 4K, and I'm back with another video, another lit video. It's not that lit, but another lit. Well, you guys, man, today's just one of those days. Today's just one of those days, man. Um, 7 in the morning, and I just woke up, and I had a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot on my mind. And I just felt like ranting and vending to y'all, you know. I've been feeling very, very discouraged lately. Very discouraged. And I don't want to say I don't know why. But I really don't know why. Like, I don't know what it is that's holding me back from feeling how I want to feel. And from doing what I want to do in life. I don't know what's holding me back, y'all. And it's low-key starting to fuck with me, bro. If you follow me on social media, I know that y'all can see that I've been feeling like I've been feeling hella discouraged and I've been hella vocal with how I've been feeling. Usually I'm not super vocal on how I feel. That means I'm really, really starting to get super comfortable with y'all and able to be myself a lot more. And I like that a lot. It's me feeling like I've been feeling discouraged. On top of that, I feel like I let a lot of shit slide that should not be, you feel me, shouldn't slide. And I know it's a lot of people out there like that. I don't know if it's an Aries thing. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know. I don't know. But it makes me feel weak. It makes me feel weak that I allow, I allow, I allow so much shit to happen to me. I allow everybody to come in my life, screw me over, do whatever the fuck they want to do. And they know that I'm such a forgiving person and loyal that I'm gonna stick around no matter what they do. So they just keep coming back and back and back. And it's like they're using me, rinsing me out. And I'm tired of it. You know who you are, you know what you do. You know if you are hurting somebody. Like, you know when you're hurting somebody. I just need to figure out how to let go. I need to figure out how to let go. That's my big thing. I do not know how to let go. I need to let the past be in the past. I need to stop giving people chance after chance after chance after chance. I always feel like giving people chances is just like, it makes sense because I always give people the benefit of the doubt, always. I'm super understanding. Like somebody can do me the dirty, so dirty, I'm tired of going out of my way for people that won't do the same thing for me. And I've been super emotional about this lately because I don't want to cut these people off. But I know that I have to, to better myself. If I ever, if I want to elevate, if I want to be at the top, if I want to take this management shit serious, this YouTube shit serious and actually elevate, I need to cut these people off because I feel like that's the reason why I'm right here. I feel like having these people around me is stopping me from accomplishing the goals that I know that I can accomplish. But at the same time, I have to blame myself because I can't let nobody bring me down. You feel me? I got to be a stronger person. So I have to learn how to not always. And let's see, that's my thing right there. Y'all just peeped it. I always try to make it seem like it's not the per that person. It's me because I feel like. We got more control over ourselves than we think. You feel me? Like, we can stop shit. We just choose not to because we don't want to. Um, yeah, me and Chrissy got into it because, um, I don't know if she want me to talk about this, but I, it's not that hard, not that crazy, you know. We just got into a little argument because a few of my close friends that I consider family screwed me over real bad. And um, I continue to let these people back into my life without them apologizing I'll be the one apologizing for what I don't know 
I don't know. <laughs> I just always feel like I should be the bigger person. And like I said, I'm finna stop doing that shit because it's not getting me nowhere at all. And she was telling me that I keep letting these people in and out of my life. They keep doing me dirty and she was super upset. Um, she got super emotional. I took it to heart because she tell me this shit all the time, but I listen, but I just want to move on how I move. Like, I don't want her to tell me what to do. You know what I'm saying? I just want to move how I want to move. And I feel like at this point, she's getting a little frustrated because her, because I'm talking to her and giving her all this information that people doing this, that, and the third to me. And then at the end of the day, I don't cut them off. I still talk to them. I'm cordial. I'm not in their face every day, but I'm cordial with them, you know? So, I don't fucking know what to do, y'all. I need y'all advice in the comments because I'm going crazy. I'm going crazy. And I'm the type, I love to ask people for advice. I love different opinions because I want to know what am I doing wrong? Am I the person in the wrong? I always ask, am I wrong before I do anything else? I always ask that, like, you got to ask all my friends. I'll be like, am I wrong for doing this? Blah, blah, blah. I just want to know because if I'm wrong, I need to know. So I won't do that shit again. You know what I'm saying? Like, I always want to just be sure. You feel me? Before I start speaking and all that extra shit. If you're like me, I give really good advice, but I don't take it. I don't take my own advice. Don't let nobody push you over. Don't let nobody think that they can run you over and over and over and over and you'll still be there go with your gut that's another thing that i suggest to go with your gut i have a very good intuition like my intuition is crazy like it's crazy i sometimes i really be thinking that i'm a medium y'all for real like i be seeing shit before it happens like crazy shit like if i was to tell y'all all the shit that i experienced bro Y'all would think I'm some type of psychic or something. You can ask Chrissy. Like, she sees it all the time. And she'd be like, what the fuck's me? Like, you literally just said that that was going to happen. Like, it's crazy, y'all. So, just stick to your intuition, man. Um, most of the time, 99% of the time, 90% of the time, I ain't going to say 99. 90% of the time, you're right. Um, all the times when I thought that somebody was cheating on me. When I thought that somebody was talking behind my back. When I thought that somebody was just doing me dirty, I was right. It took a minute for it to come to light, but I was right. You feel me? Um, there's no point in having those people around. Unless they're truly, 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 genuinely sorry for what they did to you. And you can tell that they're sorry for what they did to you. Uh, I take a lot of bullshit. I take a lot of bullshit. And if you take a lot of bullshit, that shit builds up. And you know what built up shit look like? It's disgusting. No, I'm just kidding. But for real, for real though, like, once you have all this shit build up, it gets super fucking nasty. And then you fucking explode. And then it's just, you never know what happens. It's a lot of situations that can happen from somebody exploding. You know, you can fucking go mentally insane you can it's a lot of shit y'all so men, your mental health and the, your energy the people around you is super fucking important like uh, it's so important y'all you are who you hang around if you hanging around a group of rich motherfuckers people that's on their shit grinding and working every single day you gonna become that person you're going to become that millionaire. If you're around a bunch of bums, people just smoking 24-7, don't go to work, don't do nothing, don't make no type of money, nothing, you're going to be in that crowd. You are who you hang around, bro, and that's a fact. That's a fact. That's a fact. So, my advice to y'all and to people that's feeling discouraged like me, um, keep your head up. Everything gonna get better. Um, it's not the end of the world. All you have to do is change. You want you have to want to change for yourself. Everybody else can't want you to change. Everybody else can't want that change for you. You gotta have it within yourself, or you're not gonna get nowhere. Stop letting everybody in your life. Stop letting everybody walk over you. If you don't like something, speak up. Choose your friends wisely. Choose the people that you 
surround yourself with wisely because like i said again you are who you hang around with that being said y'all uh, think i'm gonna end my rant on that you feel me i got a lot of shit that i wrote in this that i wanted to rant about but i'm i think i'm gonna say that for another video y'all right now i feel like i said a lot of shit let me know if y'all want some more rant videos i got a lot of shit to rant about so if y'all like this video give it a thumbs up and um I'm going to just be trying to tell y'all more and more how I, how I be feeling, man. If you don't have people that tell you when you're doing something wrong, when you allowing too much bullshit, you know, it's, it's really hard for you to see it sometimes. Especially if you're a person like me. If you're like me, it's hard for you to see it sometimes. Or you'll see it blankly, but you just don't want to take that step to make shit better. Which I don't know why, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. I'm going to end this video on that note. Thank y'all for watching this video. Thank y'all for listening to me rant. This is like, I think this is my first rant video for real. <laughs> um, I feel a little better after doing this. I'm not even going to lie. This really made me feel a lot, a lot, a lot better. Yeah, I was crying before this. Like I said, I'm super fucking emotional. Like, if you can't deal with it, fuck it. You feel me? I'm going to always be myself on this bitch, y'all. I'm not going to act like I'm hard. I'm tough. I mean, I'm a fucking crybaby, bro. I'm a crybaby, but don't try me, though. Don't try me, though, because it's not sweet over here, though. That, that That's that's a fact. You feel me? But um, like I said, I love y'all. Thank y'all for letting me vent. Um, I hope y'all watched this video from beginning to end, y'all. Um, If this helped y'all, let me know in the comments. Um, Leave me some positive energy. Um, leave me some positive comments and I'll catch y'all next video.